The state television company represents the most important news for today. Good day. Broadcast for today. The weekly speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The 43rd issue of the Western Armenian weekly newspaper has been published. Sons of Western Armenia, Metsov Mashtots. The rights of 3,000 children forcibly displaced from Artsakh were presented at the UN. The International Association of Genocide Experts had adopted a resolution regarding the Republic of Artsakh. Armenian photography of Jerusalem in the 19th and 20th centuries, exhibition in Hungary. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 7 August, Armin Hakan, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave a speech. She emphasized the speech of Ms. Lydia Margosyan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Ms. President spoke about the meaning and importance of the Sama University. She also referred to the conference dedicated to Goddess Anahit. In her speech, the speaker mentioned the speech of President Armena Gablahamyan as well. Mr. President spoke about the council that he initiated and prepared related to art, culture and heritage, which will be approved by the signature of Ms. President. President Armena Gablahamyan also informed about the medal named after Komitas Vartabet that will be awarded to those who were devoted to Western Armenia by their creative and cultural activities. The first medal will be awarded posthumously to Samvel Karapetyan. President Armena Gabrahamian also mentioned about three valuable medals in Western Armenia, Zimvoragan, Bogos Nubar and Komitas Vartapet. The 23rd issue of Western Armenia weekly newspaper has been published recently. It presents a number of remarkable materials and historical references. In the new issue, readers can be informed about various topics that are of great importance for both past and present events and developments, the cause of silence the unforgiving memory of 1915 through the eyes of Catherine Bosnoyan. The article presents the response to the tragic events of 1915 and the long-term silence related to them. Catherine Bosnoyan's analysis takes the reader to the depths of historical memory, unforgivable mistakes and their impact on the present. One of the most important subjects of the issue is the current situation of Dersim, reflecting on the region's historical roots, cultural heritage and current issues. The newspaper once again emphasizes the importance of the return of Armenians of Artsakh with the necessity of resuming this issue on the political agenda. The new issue also mentions the devastating earthquake of 1st January 1901, which left a deep mark in Karno Vilayat of Western Armenia. The article presents in detail the diastrous consequences caused after the earthquake. The Armenian, English and French versions of the weekly newspaper are available on the official website of the Western Armenia Weekly Newspaper. We owe Mesop Mashtots for the preservation of the Armenian language and literature. If it weren't for his work, Armenia would have assimilated to the Persian Assyrian environment and disappeared like many peoples of the East. This was said by Saint Martin. Mesop Mashtots is the creator of the present version of the Armenian alphabet. Most of the information about Mashtots comes from the book Vark Mashtots by the Armenian medieval historian, the first Armenian chronicler, Gojun. Mesop was born in the Hatsekats village of Taron, now there is near Mush, and became a palace servant, the king's scribe. Mashtots, feeling the need for his own writing system for Armenian during his activity, started to create the Armenian alphabet with the support of Armenian Catholicos Sahak Bartev and King Ramshapu. Although, according to popular legend, Mashtots, with its current version of the alphabet, was conceived in a divine vision. It is known that before inventing his Armenian letters, he traveled a long time and studied many languages. The alphabet was the key that allowed Armenians to preserve their culture and identity, giving them exceptional legitimacy when many neighboring peoples simply disappeared from the scene of history. Mesop Mashtots was ranked among the saints of the Armenians' apostolic and Roman Catholic churches. In the later, his memory is celebrated on 17 February. During the 19th 7th session of the UN Committee on the Rights of the Children, the discussion of the 5th and the 6th Joint Periodic Report of Eastern Armenia took place on the implementation of the provisions of the UN Convention on the Rights of Children. Among the delegation, there were representatives of Eastern Armenia's ministries of foreign affairs, justice, health care, internal affairs, labor and social affairs, and the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications. 
The delegation of the Republic of Armenia was headed by the Deputy Minister of Labor and Social Affairs of Eastern Armenia, Tatevik Stepanyan. The Armenian delegation answered more than 70 questions, presenting in detail the steps taken in the context of children's rights in various fields. The need to ensure the protection of the rights of the most vulnerable groups of children was specially emphasized. The members of the delegation presented the steps taken in the fields of education, health care and social security in order to ensure the rights of 3,000 forcibly displaced children from Artsakh. On to September 2024, the International Association of Genocide Scholars, of which the Museum Institute of Genocide Against Armenians is also a member, adopted a resolution regarding Artsakh. An unofficial Armenian translation is available on the museum's website. The resolution recognizes the following. The murders and violence of the Armenian civilians of Artsakh. Arrest of leaders of Artsakh. The exclusion of 120,000 Armenians in September 2023 the anti-Armenian hate speech spreading in Baku, destruction of Armenian cultural heritage. So the resolution calls for, first, Baku to release the Armenian prisoners of war, the second, to fulfill the decisions of the International Court of Justice of the United Nations, prevent further violations of Armenians' rights, and to protect the Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh. The international community is called upon to protect the right of self-determination of the Armenians of Artsakh, to guarantee the return of the Armenians and to recognize the crimes committed against the Armenians. The Department of Armenian Studies of the Peter Pesman Catholic University in Budapest, in cooperation with the Hungarian University of Fine Arts, is organizing an exhibition and conference dedicated to the Armenian photography of Jerusalem from September 20 to October 8, 2024. The website ORED AU informs about this. Looking to Eternity will be held in the Aula Hall of the Hungarian University of Fine Arts. The exhibition, Armenian Photography of Jerusalem in the 19th and 20th centuries, presents the idea of holiness through landscapes, urban environments, portraits of patriarch and photographs depicting secular life, thus uniting the spiritual and the secular. The curator of the exhibition is Diana Ghazajan, who is a postgraduate student of the Armenian Studies Department of Pazman and Peter University noted that this event is not only a great opportunity to present the Armenian art of Jerusalem in one of the important capitals of Europe, but also a significant step in the development of Armenian-Hungarian mutual understanding and cooperation. The displayed photographs were acquired from the archives of the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians, the Project Safe Photograph Archive, the Paris Agbu Nuberian Library, the Washington Library of Congress and the Galust Kulpenkian Foundation archives. The television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, the viewers our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the present and the future history of Western Armenia with political and other contexts, as well as news that raises various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, our possibilities will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.